Good morning. This is Rob Matthews with Curb Appeal Renovations, giving you an update on our uh, Keller project. Um, things are going good. I'm going to show you just real quick today uh, how we waterproof and prep a shower um, to get it ready for tile. Uh, in the past, we've used the Hardy Backer, the cement board, um, but uh, here, probably in the past year, we've switched over to a Schluter product. That's what the, all this orange board is. A lot easier to work with. Uh, a lot better than the cement board. It uh, comes with a lifetime warranty, so it's a great system, but that's the thing. It is an actual system. Everything is made by the same company. It all fits together. It's all made to work together, so you're not using multiple products from different companies and trying to make it work. So I'm just going to show you real quick how this works, uh, what it is. It is a very dense, uh, lightweight foam board, and... Um, the orange uh, membrane on it, it's impregnated onto it. It's uh, heat treated and it's applied to it uh, in the factory. And uh, it, com it comes in four by eight sheets. So we can pretty much get large walls done in one, one piece, unlike the Hardy Backer comes in three by five sheets. So you have a lot of seams. So it's, um, <clears throat> again, it's waterproof. Uh, all we have to do is screw it to the wall and then um, where all the screws are, that's where we put the same membrane, but it's just like a patch, like patching a, uh, an old bicycle tire. And then we go over those with mortar and then it's all ready to seal. And uh, in the corners and any of the joints, <clears throat> you can see where we put a band of that same membrane over the joints to waterproof those. Same thing in the corners. And... Uh, so now down here, uh, the system comes with integrated, uh, uh, where, whether it's a regular rectangular bench, square bench, or these uh, triangular benches uh, that we use the majority of the time. It's not really big enough to sit on, but it's more where you can put your foot on to um, shave your legs, wash, and whatnot. Um, over here, we have two soap niches, shampoo boxes. Those are also part of the system and um, it uh, works really well. So once we put it all in, it is ready for tile. Even little things like this, where the shower valves are, it comes with these rubber inserts, uh, membrane inserts, so it um, allows the, when we do the shower trim, you know, the pretty fancy face plate, it pushes against this and seals, uh, kind of like a gasket uh, in a car. So, um, that's the system. Uh, let's see one other thing here. You notice there's no curb here. Well, what we can do is instead of busting out the entire concrete floor, jackhammering it all out, especially a large area like this, and possibly causing harm to the foundation's integrity, we do a small ramp. So it's really hard to tell, but it ramps up from here up to about here. So it just ramps up. Once it gets to here, then it slopes back down towards the drain. Once we uh, pile up to the drain, the system comes with an integrated nice drain. It'll fit down in there. And um, that's the other thing we have always done, not just with this system. I've always hated to see round drains, and then people try to cut tile around those drains, and it's just real chipped and cut up. Uh, doesn't look very good. Um, if you're going to use flat edge tile, which most tile is, it makes sense to use a flat edge drain or a square drain. So we'll butt the tile up to all four sides, work our way out, and then you have a nice perimeter, nice grout line all the way around this. So that's uh, a quick look at our uh, system here, the Schluter system. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. Um, thanks a lot and we'll talk to you later.